and welcome to another edition of Land Free Feud. I am your host, Noah Suit. And today's show is sponsored by Be The Change. If you would like to join this club, please see Miss Martinez in the hallway. Anyway, we got another good one for you here today. We have Third Hour Advanced TV Pro. And they will be going up against Second Hour TV Pro. All right, guys, you look like both formidable teams. Well, we need to get this started. Give me BK, give me Taylor. Let's go. How you doing? Oh, BK. At least he has nice hair. All right, guys. Oh, okay. Name a reason you might receive flowers. I'm going to give it to the lady. Okay. Birthday. Show me birthday. All right, you have a chance to steal, though. Top answers on the board. What do you have? Mm, asked to prom. Show me getting asked to prom. That is not on the board. Whoa. Taylor, would you like to pass or play? Play. They're going to play. Hello, and you are? Chris. Nice, nice to meet you, Chris. Name a reason you might receive flowers. Uh, Valentine's Day. Show me Valentine's Day. <laughs> Number one answer. Way to go, Chris. <laughs> and you are? Elysia. Nice to meet you. Name a reason you might receive flowers. Um, anniversary. Show me anniversary. This is an encouraging show. All right. You guys are having a strong performance. And you are? I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you, Brandon. Name a reason you might receive flowers. Take a girl on a date. Show me if you're taking a lady out on a date. Uh, all right. We're back to Taylor. Taylor, name another reason why you, would, you might receive flowers. A funeral. Show me funeral. <laughs> One answer left on the board. No pressure. Name, hold on. Name a reason you might receive flowers. A date. Show me you're going on a date. You already said that, actually. All right, that's two strikes. That's three strikes. So you guys are done. All right, <laughs> we're going to come over here. Guys, you have a chance to steal. Brandon, name a reason you might receive flowers. An apology. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> Show me an apology. Oh. Ah, that's all right. Oh, it looks like third hour got all the points. <laughs> Woo! All right, now let's go to the board to reveal the answer that was not said. Sick. Uh -huh. <laughs> and third hour is in the lead with a commanding lead, 89 to zero. Oh. All right, second hour, looks like you guys have some making up to do, but don't worry, because this round is worth double the points. All right, so give me Evan, give me Chris. Let's go. How are you gentlemen doing today? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Okay. Name a supervillain from a superhero movie. Lex Luthor. Show me Lex Luthor. Chris, come back. Name a superhero. Name a super villain from a superhero movie. The Green Goblin. Show me, show me Green Goblin. Ah, uh, uh, Evan, would you guys like to pass or play? We're playing. Hello, and you are? Noah. 
That's my name. <laughs> All right. I'm not cool with that. But anyway, name a supervillain from a superhero movie. The Joker. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, Show me the Joker. All right. And you are? Alexander. Nice to meet you, Alexander. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Name a supervillain from a superhero movie. Um, Come on, I need an answer. We're giving you an X. All right, we're coming back to the team captain. BK, have it your way. Brandon Kalinowski. Name a supervillain from a superhero movie. Um, Bane. Show me... <laughs> Good answer. Show me Bane. All right, Evan, we're back to you. That's two X's. Third Hour has a chance to steal. But that's all right, because I know you'll, you'll get it. Name a supervillain from a superhero movie. Uh, Doctor Doom. Good answer. Show me Doctor Doom. Oh. All right, we're going to go back to the third hour. They have a chance to steal. Taylor, team captain, name a supervillain from a superhero movie. Uh, Ultron. <laughs> Who's Ultron? <laughs> All, right. All right, good answer. I didn't know Ultron was a superhero. Anyway, show supervillain. Show me Ultron. That's wrong. Now we have to go to the board to see which supervillains were not revealed. Wow, looks like we have a great show. I'm loving the competitive spirit. But anyways, it looks like second hour is beating third hour, 156 to 89 total. It's all right, though, third hour. You have a chance to come back because this round is worth triple the points. All right, give me the other Noah and give me Alicia. Oh, I like it, Noah. I like it. All right, guys. Name a food you could still eat even if you didn't have teeth. Soup. Wait, soup. Show me soup. <laughs> I assume they're playing because she's over here. <laughs> All right, Brandon. Name a food that you could still eat even if you didn't have teeth. Mashed potatoes. Show me mashed potatoes. Alright, Dr. Taylor. Name a food you could still eat even if you didn't have teeth. Jelly. Show me jelly. Alright, Chris, that's one X. Name a food you could still eat even if you didn't have teeth. Jello. Show me jello. Alright, good job. Good. <laughs> Alright, back to you. Name a food you could still eat even if you didn't have teeth. Um I need an answer. Uh eh, eh. that's an X. I'm sorry. Alright, Brandon. <laughs> back to you. You have two X's though. Second hour has a chance to steal. No pressure, though. Okay. Name a food you could still eat even if you didn't have teeth. Oatmeal. Oh. Show me oatmeal. Oh. Brandon, I really wanted that for you. Okay. Second hour, you have a chance to steal. Team captain, lead your way to victory. Name or defeat. 
Victory or defeat. It's all in your hands. You already meet it. No, I need the captain. <laughs> I need the captain. You got an answer. You got an answer. All right. It looks like you're pretty confident. This was a team decision. Okay. You can either lead your way to victory or you could fail. Anyway, no pressure again. Okay. Name a food you could still eat even if you didn't have teeth. Well, if I did not have teeth, I would enjoy a cup of pudding. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Show me pudding. Yeah, show me pudding. Oh! Oh! Wow, wow. All right, it's going to come down close, but we have to go to the board to reveal the answers. Applesauce. <laughs> It came down to the wire, but with a comeback victory, it was third hour TV productions class with a 362 to 156 victory. <laughs> hey, but don't worry, second hour. Okay, you get complimentary wristbands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but let's go back to the winners. Okay, and let's bring them out their T-shirts for again, be the change. Thank you guys for playing. Captain, do you have anything to say? I'm not a medium shirt. <laughs> I don't know how many people want it. Okay. Anyway, thank you to the fans for watching Land for Your Feud.